大家好，欢迎来到我的频道。What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to share a very easy way for learning Chinese that I've been using a lot recently, just because it's so fun and it's so easy to use, and it actually works. At its core, it's essentially watching YouTube videos with a bit of shadowing, which I'm going to get into much more detail later in the video. It sounds super simple, but it actually is very effective for three very important reasons. Number one is that you're getting all that great audio input. I've talked about this extensively. Input is probably one of the most important things that you can focus on when you're learning a language, especially audio input through listening. So if you think about how a baby learns a language or how they acquire a language, it's basically through tons and tons of input through listening, and they're just absorbing that language through their ears. Another thing that babies are great at is mimicking. So when I hear something. They're copying their parents. They're copying the sounds that their parents are making.、And、that essentially is what shadowing is, and that is one of the great things that you can do with YouTube videos by basically copying, 模仿 basically imitating what the speaker is saying. And I'll talk much more in detail about this later in the video when I demonstrate how I do this. The other thing that makes this method really powerful is the fact that you can have subtitles, Chinese subtitles, so that you can read along as you're listening. You can sort of think about this as having training wheels on your bike. So when you're reading a book normally, you don't have that audio input. So normally that takes a lot longer and it's much more harder. But when you have that audio input, that's complementary to reading it, and so that's going to build your reading skills. But that's also going to help you. Listen when you're able to see the characters in front of you. Why don't I just show you guys how I do it? So recently, I discovered a really cool YouTube channel that I've been watching a lot for learning Chinese. His name is Li Tan, and the channel's name is Easy Mandarin with Li Tan. And you can check out his YouTube channel. He has tons of videos that are really high quality. He talks about a variety of different issues and topics like Chinese culture, and all the way to. Learning Chinese, for example, this is his latest video where he talks about what is standard Mandarin. How do you acquire a standard Mandarin accent? Which was a great video. One of the great things about his videos is that he speaks very clearly, and he has a very standard Chinese accent. And then he's also very transparent and sincere. He comes off very honest, and so his opinions are very interesting to listen to. The other great thing is that he has subtitles, so he also embeds soft subtitles. So Basically, subtitles that you can turn on and off, which is great for that Chrome extension Zhongwen, which I'll go into more detail later. So after I've picked a video that I want to focus on, the first thing I'll do is I'll try to listen to the video once with the first pass without stopping, and just try to soak up and try to absorb as much as I can, and try to see how. My comprehension is how much do I actually understand without stopping and looking up words. So this is a video that I've watched a couple of times already, and so I'll demonstrate with this video. So once I've actually listened to it once, I'm going to repeat it, go back to the beginning, and listen to it again. This time, with a little bit slower of a pace, and I'm trying to dissect and look up all the words that I don't understand. This is where that great app Zhongwen comes in, the Zhongwen Chrome extension.、I'll I'll put a link in the description below, and it's great because you can have the subtitles pop up. So, for example, here are the subtitles, and I'm hovering over the characters. And every time I hover over the character, it gives me pop-up definitions, which make learning Chinese and looking up characters so much easier. I don't have to go into Pleco. I don't have to open up a dictionary. The other thing that I like to do when I do my second pass is that. I'll start implementing shadowing. So I've talked about this before. This is basically mimicking or imitating what he's saying. So let's do an example of this. 大家好，我是李灿。大家好，我是李灿。So see how I'm trying to mimic exactly how he's saying it. So I want to really. This is going to help me perfect my accent, my pronunciation, because this is a native speaker, and I'm just trying to imitate and mimic it as much as I can. So I'm trying to pretend like I'm speaking exactly like him. Today, we just talk about something. Today, we just talk about something. What is standard Chinese? What is standard Chinese? So it's almost like a game. You're trying to trying to mimic, basically imitate, to make your pronunciation sound and match his pronunciation as much as possible. And how to practice a standard Chinese? 
，以及如何练就一口标准的普通话。说到普通话，好。说到普通话，很多小伙伴可能会联想到，好多小伙伴可能会联想到。So you see what I'm doing? I'm trying to really emphasize and try to imitate his cadence, his intonation, when when he pauses, when he stops. 口语老炮马思睿。口语老炮马思睿，他那一口金片子呀，让他那一口金片子，我都羡慕不已啊！让我都羡慕不已啊！不过 ，and you can try if you make a mistake, that's fine. You can repeat it over and over again. That's that's the beauty of this. You can stop and repeat it, go back and go at your own pace. The other way that I like to vary this up is by stopping before he says it. And trying myself to read out the captions and then saying it myself before he says it, and this way, this method actually helps me to train my reading, and then it tests my speaking ability before he says it, and then I can play it, and then I can compare the way I say it with the way he says it, and see if there's any similarities, any areas that I need to improve on. So, for example, 就像我说的，他说的是金片子，是。是北京话，而不是普通话。北京话，而不是普通话。See, so I said it first, and then I listen to how he says it. 是北京话，而不是普通话。So, and then I can say it again after I stop it. 所以它是一种方言。所以它是哦、oh, ，I see, I missed that. Okay, let's try another. 除非你特，除非你特别喜欢这种口音。特别喜欢这种口音。除非你特别喜欢这种口音。然后有，然后有非常惊人的语言天赋。有非常惊人的语言天赋。然后有非常惊人的语言天赋。So those are two variations that you can try. The other thing that you'll notice is that as you're getting better and better at this, and another variation that you can do is by not stopping. You can just immediately after he says it, just speak it. It's just shadow. You can even. Mouth it without speaking out too loudly, and this is another great way to increase your efficiency because you're not stopping at all. So the rate of input is going to be much higher. You can get through a lot more audio in a shorter amount of time by doing this. Let's just show some more examples here. 主持人之外的另一类人和主持人之外的另一类人，他们就是演员。他们就是演员。特别是那种在专门的表演学校里学过，特别是那种，特别是那种在专门的表演学校里学过，或者在话剧团里的挨过的演员，或者在或者在话剧园里 ，see 团里哦 ，see I forgot this， 话剧团里带过的演员，或者在或者在话剧。团里带过的演员，或者在话剧团员哦，团里话剧，或者在话剧团里带过的演员。表演里头有一个。So this is one method that I've been using a lot very recently, just because it's so effective, it's so easy to implement, and it's so fun to use. It allows me to improve my listening comprehension. At the same time, I'm also improving my reading comprehension because there's a visual component. It makes it a great way to work on it actively, and because there's also the added benefit of subtitles, it's going to stimulate a different part of your brain. And just think about it as a separate dimension that's going to allow you to improve your retention, improve your ability to remember. Words and phrases. Highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this method before? What are your favorite methods for learning Chinese? Let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you like it, and subscribe. And see you guys next time.